looking for an easy dinner recipe you can get on the table in say 15-20 minutes well I've got one for you today we're making oven baked chicken caprese so it has all of the ingredients that you think of when you think of caprese right we've got well the chicken and then we have some fresh mozzarella and some fresh uh, actually I have homegrown tomatoes and some fresh basil now I'm going to be marinating my chicken in some uh, vinegar and oil dressing to really kind of just give it some really nice flavor and it's delicious. So I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm going to show you how to make it right after this. We're going to start off by making our dressing first because we have to marinate our chicken for at least a half an hour. You want those flavors to, you know, get in there. So I'm using avocado oil here and I'm going to do a third of a cup and I'm just placing it into a mason jar. And that way I can just shake it up. I've also put it in a blender, that works too. I'm using some apple cider vinegar here. We're gonna put a little bit of garlic powder. I'm gonna put a pinch of salt. Several cracks of black pepper. And about a teaspoon or so, maybe a little less, We'll do a teaspoon of some raw honey and we'll put the lid on here and give it the old shake a -roo. All right, so now that we've got our dressing made, let's talk about the chicken. I've got a, basically a one chicken breast here that was already cut for me. I bought them thin sliced at the store. And so they're about a quarter of an inch, maybe a little bit thicker, maybe a third of an inch thick. And that helps it cook up quicker. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place these two halves into my baking dish and we're going to pour the marinade over the top and I'm not going to use all of it you know you can save this for just regular dressing uh, if you want to pour it in there just enough to you know cover it and let it marinate for like I said at least a half hour So like I said, I'm going to marinate this for 30 minutes. If you're going to go longer than 30 minutes to marinate it, which you can, you can go a couple hours if you want, go ahead and put it in the fridge, cover it up first, and then put it in there because uh, that would be too long to leave it sit out. But just a half an hour, my chicken's still cold and it's just coming up to temperature. So uh, that's what you want to do there. So I got my oven preheated to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And uh, when that's ready, we'll show you the next step. For the other ingredients that I have, I have the whole milk fresh mozzarella. I can only get the small balls, let me show you. Sometimes you can get the really large ones and it makes it easier to cut slices, but in this case, we have the little balls, which are, you see how tiny they are? They're like little marbles. So I'm gonna slice those into thirds and that's what I'm gonna be placing on top of the chicken. Now I also have some fresh out of the garden basil here and I've got some fresh tomatoes. Look at those, they're beautiful and they're sweet. I got them from my neighbor actually on that. So I'm gonna salt the chicken. So I'm gonna just sprinkle that over the top. And then I'm gonna crack a little bit of pepper on top. And now I'm just gonna cut the little mozzarella balls. And I'm just gonna cut enough to cover the top. So now I'm just gonna place the little mozzarella slices right on top of the chicken breasts. Get them nice and close together. Now for the tomatoes, I'm just gonna cut a nice, you know, probably quarter inch thick slices. These tomatoes are fantastic. They're so sweet. Wow. So now it's gonna go in the oven. I'm not putting the basil on until it comes out of the oven. I want that basil to stay fresh and just it makes a big difference if you just put it on right as you serve it. So like I said, this is gonna go in the oven and I'm gonna put it in there. I'm gonna set the timer for about 13 minutes. It's gonna cook somewhere between 12 and 15. You don't wanna overcook it or that uh, turkey breast will dry out. So we're gonna you know, err on the side of caution and go on the earlier side.
while our chicken is cooking real quick in the oven there, we got time, just enough time to do our chef joke. All right, here we go. What do you get if a chicken lays an egg on top of a barn? An egg roll. While our chicken is cooking in the oven for 13 minutes, we have time to go over just two more ingredients that we need to add. One is the basil, which we talked about, and we're putting that at the end so that it's nice and fresh. And the other item, we need a balsamic glaze. So you can buy that at the store already. It's nice and thick. You don't want to use a regular uh, balsamic vinegar because that would just be too runny. You want a nice thick syrupy glaze. So you can buy it at the store or I have a video for you and I'll leave a link for it in the description of this video and you can check that out and make it. It's really simple and doesn't take very long at all. So I pulled the chicken out at about 13 and a half minutes, very quick, like I said. Check it with your instant read thermometer, that way you get a good reading on that, you don't want to over overcook it. And now we're gonna do the basil, and with the basil, I just stack the leaves. You wanna cut this at the last minute and put it on top because the basil will just oxidize and turn black, and that doesn't look very appetizing. So do that at the very last moment. So I just roll the, the leaves up and then just slice them and they come out into nice little ribbons. You can cut it just a little bit more in the other direction. Just a couple of them just to break up, break it up. And now that's ready. I have my balsamic glaze over here already. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this out and set it on a plate so you can see it. A little bit of my tomato fell off, but that's okay. We can put it back on. Super easy dish. I love this. Now you can see my uh, balsamic glaze is quite thick and you can see it's nice and syrupy so I'm just going to pour it over the top here and just drizzle it across. Gives it a nice little sweet tangy kind of flavor to your chicken. Got a lot of good flavors going on here and you can do as much as you like and then finish it off with the basil which is just so good. Gives it a little color, gives it that freshness. What's not to like on that? This chicken is so delicious. It's got a lot of flavors going on. There's some sweet, there's some tangy, and it just really reminds you of caprese. If you'd like to see another one pan type chicken dinner that is very quick and delicious, then you gotta try my one pan chicken with vegetables. I'm gonna leave a link right here, click that and it'll take you to it and you can see another sheet pan type recipe that cooks up the same as this last one did in like 15 minutes. It is delicious and healthy and quick. So click that and uh, thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Smash the like button that helps the uh, algorithm and helps my channel uh, spread and uh, yeah, leave me a comment. We'll see you next week.